What's going on guys, it's Mr. DEVT Joe Lork from the Money Etiquette Group and here's some cryptocurrency news you should listen to today. Big news of the day has been about India and their ban on cryptocurrency or at least they're not gonna recognize or plan to recognize cryptocurrency as a legal tender. Now a lot of people saw that news headline and people started to panic. Oh, the market, the market. But of course this is something that we've been talking about over the last few days, if you've been watching the videos, I told you different countries are going to start to regulate cryptocurrency more. South Korea was just a start. China was just a start. This is going to happen worldwide, which is, again, why I believe come March or April, when a lot of this has died down, the market's going to take off. But let's really analyze what this means. OK, India, in terms of market share, maybe eighth, ninth, tenth ranked largest market in cryptocurrency. I mean, we're still talking uh, North America, which is US, Canada, uh, Europe or European countries. Uh, we got China, South Korea, Japan, Australia. All these markets are much larger than India's market. So why such a big reaction? Because people panic and then there are other people taking advantage of it. I mean, today you're talking about Ripple in particular being worth or costing less than one dollar after the announcements with MoneyGram and all these different businesses that they've partnered with to use XRP, not just Ripple, but to actually use XRP and more good news consistently coming out. You think that the value should drop based on India? Nah, that's people taking advantage of the system. In fact, what they've created or what this news has created is an opportunity to buy Ripple at a cheaper price than you may be able to buy again. And I'm serious when I say that. You may not be able to get Ripple for a cheaper price than what it is right now, unless some more devastating news comes out, which, I mean, it's not even devastating. I'm saying quote unquote devastating news. Again, the impact of this move should be minimal in terms of really how it affect the market, affects the market, but you know, you have panic sellers, so you may have a temporary uh, short on the prices but again that's good also always pay attention to expiring uh shorts on this i'm talking about futures remember don't just pay attention to futures one day look at all expiring futures over the next few days and also pay attention to how that affects the market because futures are still in play don't think that that game is over because the first big contracts expired contracts are still expiring over a daily basis okay just to let you guys know so you do still have market manipulation but ultimately this is a great buying day OK, and remember what I said, March, April time is when I expect to see the market go up again. It's because a lot of the domino effect of what happened in South Korea, what's happening in Japan, what's happening in China, in terms of what's happening in the U.S., in terms of regulation. We're going to see that spread from country to country, announcement to announcement, which is going to cause the market to stay down and not go up but so high. But I believe by March or April, most of these announcements will be done and cryptocurrency won't be banned worldwide. Just think about what India did by saying you're going to ban cryptocurrency or you're going to uh, not recognize it as a legal tender or currency. If the rest of the world recognizes it, people from India can still trade in cryptocurrency. All they have to do is cash out in dollars and use those dollars, use the dollars in India or exchange it for the local currency. You cannot stop blockchain and cryptocurrency with one country bans you have to ban it globally for that to work so i expect india to actually come back into the market before you nah, probably before the end of the year but right now they're talking about making the moves and again this is talk the moves haven't been completely made but don't let this mess you up in the market use new money if you're going to use it to take advantage of these prices don't sell off your old positions, in my opinion, because you're selling at a loss to get a gain, but you shouldn't sell it, sell at a loss to get a gain. You should actually buy for gains, in my opinion. Again, you should make your own choices. Do so wisely. I am not responsible for your choices. This is just me giving you an, an, an analysis of the market. And based on my experience and based on looking at the market and trading in the market, I'm just going to say a good today's a good buying day. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. We'll see what other news comes out. I mean, the market may be back up to where it was the last few days, or the last few days, or at least the last 24 hours within the next hour or so. Just being honest, because again, you'll find that this news coming out of India isn't that serious. All right, guys, have a good one. Talk to you tomorrow.